Hey guys, samahan niyo akong gumawa ng video tonight. Meron kami movie night dito lang sa bahay and my son wanted pizza. So I'm gonna make pizza. This is a very, very easy recipe na pwede niyo rin gawin at home. And then also gagawin din tayo ng uh, chicken wings. Yes, baby, cup. You're gonna draw. Okay, that's my son. So, yep, let's do it. Okay, so this pizza is very easy, like I said, and the first thing that we're going to need is warm water. So, um, this is just tap water, but if you're going to boil or microwave your water, make sure that it's not too hot. So, the um, temperature should be around 110 to 120 or 115 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So, we need uh, three parts of this water and then we're gonna put um sugar so ito yung magfi-feed sa ating yeast and then we're gonna put two teaspoons and one fourth teaspoon two and one fourth teaspoons of yeast for our warm water and then we'll give it a good mix Happy to baby, and then we'll let it sit for about 10 minutes or until maging bubbly na siya. And then for our dry measure, 2 cups of flour, all-purpose flour, and then nilagay natin siya sa ating mixer. You can definitely knead this um, by hand. That's gonna work. It's just faster kung meron siya. Meron kayong mixer. And then we will add one teaspoon of salt. So now we will use our dough attachment for our mixer. Yan ang gagamitin natin. And, um, ito na yung ating uh, yeast and wa water and sugar mixture. So ma ano na siya, ma bubble bubble na siya. So that's, that's fine. And then ihalo lang natin siya sa flour and then we will get some olive oil siguro mga 2 tablespoons yan and then this is optional but I like to put uh, garlic powder in my uh, pizza dough so ito mga 2, ta uh, two teaspoons pwede na yun so ang next ating gagawin is that we're gonna start kneading this so maingay yung aking uh, mixer so, we're gonna need this for siguro mga 10 to 15 minutes. Madali lang naman, mabilis lang. Uh, papakita ko sa inyo kapag, uh, how to tell kapag ready na yung ating dough. So, habang nag-need yung dough namin, ito ang aking organizer ng aming movie night. Anong movie na papanoorin natin? What are we gonna watch? Hindi pala siya nagtatagal yung nakalimutan ko. What movie are we gonna watch? Wild. Ha? Wild. Wild? Titan. Wild Robot. Yay! So, ito ang nag-organize ng aming movie night in the family. So, in-stop ko na yung ating uh, mixer tapos so, for you to tell na okay na yung dough natin is that you, you will press it with your finger. Medyo, medyo sticky siya, pero if you press it with your finger, bumabalik yung, uh, nagbabounce back yung ating uh, dough. So, ibig sabihin, ready na siya. So, now, pwede na natin siyang tanggalin sa ating mixer. And then, set aside to yung mixer. And then, ito yung ating So, we, um, ilugin lang natin siya, i-shake lang natin siya ng konti. Then, we will put it back uh, dito sa bowl. Lagyan natin siya ng oil sa ibabaw. And then, tatakpan natin siya ng clean uh, dish towel. So, itong towel na to, talagang pang tinapay lang pag mag, uh, magpapaalsa ko ng tinapay. So, we will have to let this rise for only 30 minutes or at least 30 minutes 
Pero wag masyadong matagal. Siguro mga 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So, uh, pero yun lang yung kailangan nating time to wait. And then, habang hinihintay natin siya, um, I will start prepping my chicken wings. So, for the chicken wings, meron ako dito ang chicken wings. So, I marinated this um, kanina, siguro mga lunch time. So, simple marinade, uh, patis, uh, paprika, garlic powder, and uh, pepper, paminta. So, now, um, I have a plate with paper towel. So, lalagay ko siya muna dyan kasi gusto ko matanggal yung extra moisture. And then, uh, paper towel ulit, lalagay natin siya sa ibabaw. Ayan. So, that way, ma-absorb yung extra moisture. Kasi, para malutong siya. And then, we will set it aside. And then, we will start making our uh, breading. For the breading naman, we need 3 uh, fourth cups of uh, all-purpose flour. Actually, sobra na nga ito. Kasi, konti lang naman yung chicken natin. And then, maglalagay tayo ng half a uh, teaspoon of baking powder. So, yan yung magiging uh, magpapalutong sa ating chicken. Ni-strainer ko siya kasi buo-buo na yung baking powder ko. Paubos na kasi. Of course, half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of chicken powder. Kung meron kayong um, magic sarap or whatever na pampalasa, then do that. Black pepper. And then I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, maybe more, depending kung anong gusto nyo. And then this is optional, but this will make your uh, breading even better. Paprika. So smoked paprika. Bango-bango nito. And then we will give this a really good mix. So ngayon ready na tayo mag uh, breading ng ating chicken. So, meron ako dito, uh, what do you call this? tray and a cooling wrap. Ito natin lalagay yung mga nag-red natin. So, we're, we're coating this thinly, pero make sure that you coat every part of it. Ayan. So, and then, nagpapainit na rin pala ako ng ating uh, mantika. Tapusin ko lang itong pag-coat and then We'll be back. Ito na yung oil natin. For us to know kung mainit na yung ating oil, get a wooden spoon or wooden chopsticks and then put it in the oil kapag uh, nakita nyo na yung mga bubbles-bubbles sa gilid niya. Ayan, pwede na yan. Natin is that we're gonna fry it um, siguro mga 8 minutes in medium heat tapos sa hanguin natin siya and then Mamaya, pagdating ng asawa ko, bago kami kumain, ibabalik natin siya sa ating mantika to fry it the second time para crispy pa rin siya. So, while we're waiting for the second time to fry it, magde-drain na yung oil sa, uh, from our chicken. Ayan na yung most ng ating chicken wings. And then, meron pa tayong nakasalag ng mga 4 pieces. But it's almost done. This is our uh, pizza dough. So, kung mga papansin nyo, basa na siya ng sobra-sobra. So, we're gonna deflate it to let the gas out. Ayan. Then, transfer natin siya sa ating chopping bowl. Okay. So, nagsisirito pa rin ako. But, this pizza uh, recipe, this dough, is gonna make two of this. So this is a this is a 12 inch uh, pizza pan. So bago natin we transfer yung ating dough, uh, we're gonna put oil sa ating pizza pan. Magugas ako ng kamay ko ah. Kasi mas madali lang tong gawin ng nakakamal. Mas madali naman talaga mag-multan ng mga kakamay. Kaminin natin lahat yan.
So guys, dahil medyo maingay na dito sa bahay, I decided na mag-voice over na lang at i-mute na yung the rest of the video. So going back to our dough, I just needed it for a little bit and then hatiin natin siya into two parts. And then using our rolling pin, uh, we will stretch it and then ililipat natin siya dun sa ating pan and then we'll continue to stretch it until magsettle yung ating gluten and hindi na siya uh, nagba-bounce back to the center kapag ka ini-stretch. And to be honest, ito yung siguro the most frustrating part para sa akin when I started doing this recipe. Kasi nga, habang inahata ko yung dough, bumabalik naman siya sa gitna. But then I realized na kapag ka nag-settle na yung gluten, then it keeps its shape dun sa ating pan. Medyo it will take siguro mga 5 minutes but it will happen. So just trust the process. And then as you can see, okay na yung ating dough. Hindi na siya bumabalik. So nag-settle na siya. Pwede na tayong mag-toppings. So bago tayo maglagay ng toppings, let's poke our pizza dough with a fork. Uh, I think this one is uh, para hindi siya mag-bubbles kapag binibake na natin yung ating pizza. And for extra flavor, mag-drizzle ako ng olive oil. Uh, pwede naman sigurong hindi, but I always drizzle extra olive oil bago ako maglagay ng toppings. Siyempre, mag-start tayo sa ating pizza sauce. Ito, store-bought lang siya. And then my son doesn't like it with a lot of sauce, so konti lang yung nilalagay ko. And by the way, we will make two kinds of pizza. One is cheese and then one is with pepperoni. So by the way, I've been using this recipe siguro over a year na dahil nga yung mag-ama ko, napakilig nila sa pizza. Ako naman, hindi ko makain ng pizza. But then, naisip ko that since I bake, uh, it's a good idea na matutunan ko how to make it. Kasi mahal din talaga yung, well, mahal ang bilihin dito sa Hawaii period. So, whether it's food or services, mahal talaga siya. So, this way, uh, nakakain nila yung gusto nila. And then, we still save money. So, next naman, of course, we will put cheese. Uh, I'm using mozzarella cheese. So, isang pack per pizza pan. Tapos, I think meron pa akong natirang konti na isinama ko na rin. Of course, you can use cheddar or yung um, four cheese blend na nabibili sa store. Uh, it depends kung anong gusto nyo. So, isang bagay talaga na maganda when you're making your own food at home is that very customizable siya. Depende sa uh, liking ng inyong family at no extra charge of course. So, um, this one is pizza, uh, cheese pizza and then I'm making pepperoni for my husband. So, other than pepperoni of course, you can use meat um, yung giniling uh, pwede rin yung vegetables so you can put mushroom, you can put tomatoes, you can put bell pepper so, depende talaga kung anong gusto ninyo. But, uh, for tonight, we're sticking to the classic so, cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza. So, ang thickness nito kapag tapos natin siyang i-bake is just the regular thickness. So, hindi siya masyadong makapal, hindi din masyadong uh, manipis. And once we're ready, we will bake this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 16 minutes. So, habang nasa oven yung ating pizza, pabalikan na natin yung ating chicken for the second frying. So, nakatulo na lahat ng oil uh, the first time. So, pwede na natin siyang ibalik para mapalutong na talaga yung balat niya and to cook it through. So, other than wings, pwede nyo rin gamitin yung boneless chicken thigh kasi mabalis lang din yun maluto. And then, you can use the same breading recipe that I used for this chicken wing. And after that, okay na at ready na ang ating dinner. So, this is our chicken. It's very crispy and moist inside. So, masarap siya. And of course, our pizza. That's our cheese and our pepperoni. And nagdala rin ng salad yung aking asawa from CPK. And this is our dinner for tonight. And we're ready for our movie night.